Hello everyone and welcome to part 1 of a 3 part video series on getting started with Goodwill Investor on Nest Trading Platform. In today's video, we will cover a few very simple topics namely creating a market watch, adding scripts to said market watch, checking your balance or the funds available in your trading account as well as a few comments on market depth and liquidity. This is our Goodwill Investor on Nest Trading Terminal login screen. Now in order to create a market watch, just press F4 or you can choose to go to market here and click, click on market watch profile. Here let us name a test group, say test and click on add new. Double click on test and it will open your market watch window. In case you would like to change the data which is shown here, simply right click here and click on reposition columns to move the data which you would like to view from this list to this list or vice versa. Now let us move on to adding scripts to the market watch. To add scripts, you will need the toolbar to add scripts. In order to open the toolbar to add scripts, simply press CTRL plus S. As you can see, the toolbar has now opened, also known as the scripts bar. Here, select the exchange in which you would like to trade, say NFO or NSE FNO. Select the product I would like to trade in, say, OPT IDX or Options Index, and the script which I would like to add is Nifty. I would like to trade in 16,900 call of a Nifty. Select the particular expiry which you would like to add and press enter and the script will be added. Now let us add another script. Say I would like to trade in crude oil. Select the exchange and segment as MCX. Change this to FUTCOM and select crude oil from this. Select the particular expiry and click enter. In case you would like to add a space in between these, simply click on the script at the bottom and click on insert. It will add a space on top. In case you would like to move your script around up and down, just right click on market watch and enable this option, the enable drag and drop option. Now you will be able to move your scripts according to your wish. In order to delete a script, simply select the script and click on delete. Now let us add another script. Say I would like to add SBIN script from NSE. Type in SBIN, select SBIN. Remember the stocks do not have an expiry so you do not need to select it and just press enter. SBIN script has been added. I would like to add a space so press insert and the space has been added. Now let us check out how you can go about checking your balance. Simple, go to view, order, trade reports and click on view RMS limits. From here, under the user option, click on show all clients and double click on your client code. As you can see, since my account has not yet been funded, my balance is being reflected as 0, 0.00. Sometimes your payment may not be reflected here. In that case, what you need to do is right click here once again click on reposition columns and add pay in amount and save it. In case you have paid in today and you are unable to view your balance under cash margin available, you can add this particular option from reposition columns and your cash margin will be visible here. The shortcut for opening RMS limit view or to check your balance is Ctrl Shift plus V. As you can see, it has opened the same window Double click on your client code to check your balance. Now let us discuss what is liquidity. Liquidity is nothing but the ease with which an asset can be converted to cash and vice versa. In our Nest Trading Terminal or Goodwill Investor, you will be able to see a market depth window. Liquidity can easily be mentioned by checking the gap between the bid and the ask price or the buy and the sell price also known as the bid ask spread. The larger the bid ask spread of a particular script, the lesser the liquidity. Now let us move back to the terminal. Now how do you go about checking the liquidity of a script? Simple. You can either choose to double click on the script to open the market depth option 
and check the liquidity. As you can see, the bid ask spread between best buy and the best sell price in SBI script is quite low. So the liquidity of this script is quite good. In case the bid ask spread between the best buy price and the best sell price is higher, the liquidity of that script can be assumed to be low. Another shortcut to open the market depth window is to click on the script and press F6. The left hand column shows you the best buy orders and the right hand column shows you the best sell orders. Order matching in the exchanges takes place on a price time basis. What this means is the highest buy price is always matched against the lowest sell price. So the buy prices are in a descending order while the sell prices are in an ascending order while going downwards. With this we come to a conclusion of part one of our video. Thanks a lot for watching this video. As always, for any, please do not hesitate to contact our support team by emailing us at customer support at the rate gwcindia.in or you could also WhatsApp us at 733-889-5491 or call us at 044-4032-9999.